Hey Mum Warriors, it's Martine from MumWarrior.com, helping mums lose weight and transform their bodies. And today's video I'm going to cover nothing to do with health, nothing to do with fitness. I'm talking about something that has literally um, just happened. And I, I would normally blog about it, I'd normally write it out and put it on my blog. But actually, I think I could communicate it better on a video. And um, I have Amani with me. And uh, the second I start typing for some reason, she's like, no, mummy! So, um... Basically, I'm going to talk to you about nurseries and they might go into nursery because um, it's noisy, mommy. Is it noisy? Am I noisy? I'm it's sorry. Like up I'm up. sorry. She wants to listen to her music. How rude of me. Hmm. Um, she. So, I know that there's people in two separate camps about sending little ones to nursery or not, and I don't care about anyone else's opinion. I would actually really like it and appreciate it if mums and parents and non-parents people could stop judging people on their decisions because you do not know the reasons why people are doing whatever they're doing. Um, so it would be better if everyone was just supportive of each other rather than why they're doing this, why they're not doing this, blah, 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 because you can't seem to get it right anyway. So just support people with what they're doing. So my preference, and I'm only going to talk about my preference, not a right or wrong, just my preference, our preference as a family, me and my husband's. For me, it was very important that I really wanted to spend at least the first three years with her at home with me. And that is why I changed my business around. So before I used to be a gym owner and I used to do back to back one to one face to face PTs all day, literally every day. When I was pregnant with her, if anyone's been following me, you will know this story. I didn't want to work 16 hour days. Um, and I also wanted to change the way that I work. So now I work with only a select few of face to face one to one PTs, uh, PT clients, and then everything else I do is online. And that enables me to be able to be the mum that I want to be to Imani and that's for the, the way that we live our life. Now, it would be amazing to be a full-time mum all the time. However, we do both, me and my husband both do need to work, but yeah, we, we allowed ourselves, um, we gave ourselves the opportunity to have a couple of years uh, where I could do and parent the way I wanted to with Imani. Imani is two and a half now. And I was initially very hesitant about nurseries at all until I started doing some research into them and found two really really amazing ones and so we went to view them quite a while ago did a lot of research into them and they became highly recommended they've got waiting lists for like a year plus long and so I went to Salt Sea one and fell in love with it i was like i, I want to go here this is an amazing place she loved it she came out of her shell instantly and i saw then i thought she actually is going to be so ready for this and then we went to another one which is on a farm and she loves animals and so she was in her element in her element loved it and it's the first time i think if i was to leave right now she would not be that bothered because Prior to that, she was always quite clingy, and I've very much gone on how we have done things is is led by her. So if I feel like you no, know, she needs me right now, I'm going to be there. If I feel like you no, know, she wants me to step away and do it herself, then I'll step away. And it's only it's only the last six months or so when things like a soft play, she doesn't want me to. Before it, I'd have to go every single place with her. Now she doesn't want me to come on the slide with her. She doesn't want me to even be at the top of the slide or at the bottom of the slide she just wants to do her own thing and run off and I'm just like oh my god she doesn't need me and so she's been showing me these signs and I've been asking her lots of questions and for me the big thing is I wanted her to be able to communicate everything that was going on so that I felt safe and comfortable where she was going she could communicate with me what she is and isn't happy with and which is at that at that stage where she just tells me everything 24 7 so um, I'm 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 feeling good now so we registered her with two different nurseries who had different availability coming up to a year ago. And she still had, there was one nursery that the one on the farm that shouldn't be available until the following year. So when she turns three, approaching three and a half. Anyway, they, I got an email literally just a minute ago that said um, they're doing a summer course or having summer availability, which is only for a week. Um, and their spaces. Um, for afternoon so which would be from one to four which isn't long I know um but then what she said is there's been quite a lot of changes and actually there may be a place this September for full time 
and I read it and literally got a lump in my throat. I was like, oh my, no, no. I just read it and I was like, no, yes, but no. Because although for me, I know I was hiding behind a little bit, the fact that there's a year waiting list. Because, and I knew when I was visiting these nurseries, I felt, I didn't mention this to my husband, but I felt very calm because they're really, really, good popular private nurseries i knew there's going to be a waiting list so i didn't i knew it wasn't going to be oh she goes tomorrow so i was pretty calm in myself and i wasn't surprised by the fact that i had like a year a year and a half waiting list so i have been hiding behind that fact so when people have been asking me is she going to be at nursery she says, yeah yeah she's all booked she's all ready she's on the waiting list and i almost felt Mommy, like we, go. We, go. we are gonna go there yeah i almost felt like do you want to get in? I almost felt like she's booked, she's on, but she's not really going. There she is. The waiting list isn't forever. And the waiting list has been pushed forward and she's next. She's a, She could start this September potentially. And I just got the biggest lump in my throat and I was just like, oh my little girl, she's here right now. I don't want to, I don't want you to go, but I want you to go because you want to have fun and you'll be fine and you'll love it and you'll really enjoy it. And, and she's been telling me the nicest thing about this place is how they do their settling in sessions. So um, the lady from the, the teacher basically will come out to you, to your home. So she gets used to you being in your home. And then also you um, can go to the nursery at any point. So we've been going there at three o'clock when all the children come out and they play on the outside bit of the farm uh, with all the slides and you can see the horses and the sheep and everything else. So she's actually been able to meet some of the other children and she can continue to do that. So that when that she actually goes, she'll have familiar faces from both the children and the teacher and she'll be excited to go inside because she can't go inside at the minute because she's not actually there. When, when she has, she hasn't wanted to leave. So. Um, that's that's also put me at ease and I, I am very anxious about these type of things because she's my little girl and, and I don't want to leave her but I also know that I need to and she she like I said I everything I've done up to now is dictated by her so she's wants to go so she's gonna go and I just wanted to share my thoughts on it because it's scary and I, yeah, I'm going to find it it's scary, darling, for mummy, not for you, for mummy. I feel like she's just going to, she, she's just going to waltz through it. She's just going to breeze through it and she'll be cool. And I'll be the one in the car sobbing probably. And she's only going initially from one till four. So you make me emotional because yeah. I love you so much. Don't I? Yeah. I find it scary. Yeah. Oh, you've got a stone, huh? so that's it i just want to share my thoughts on it it hasn't happened yet it will be happening very soon it is what is the month it's april summer term is july they even said they may have the odd session from april i was like oh no this is getting too real this is getting too real but i'll be fine she will be more than fine and you're gonna have a great time aren't you so i will update you when it i'll probably vlog the day she goes from one to four, three days. No, she'll be going full time in September. So let me know your thoughts, feelings, and all of this stuff, whether it was your child's going to school and how you feel. I know most parents have said to me, especially when it, when it comes to school, that um, they found it a, a lot, lot harder than their little ones did. So, so let me know how you are dealing with it and I will update you the when it when it happens why is this waiting list come so soon it's all happening so quick we'll be fine just make sure you guys stay fit stay strong stay healthy and i'll see you soon bye